In this video, I want to explain the pharmacologic terms potency and efficacy of drugs. Let's start with potency. Potency is the amount of drug that we need to produce 50% of the drug's maximal effect. Which type of graph would you look for potency? Well, it needs to be a graph where we have the drug concentration. We want to know the amount of drug that is needed to get a certain effect. So we need a drug concentration effect graph. So basically something that looks like this here. So here we have on the x-axis increasing concentration of the agonist and then on the y-axis the effect, the response. Let's get rid of the partial agonist and let's determine what potency means and what potency is for this agonist. So we said it's the concentration of drug that you need to get 50% of the drug's maximal effect. So here clearly the maximal effect of the drug is 100%. So now we're going to just see what concentration do we need to get 50%. Meanwhile, I just put in here some numbers so that we can read something off this graph. So here our potency, the potency of the drug, the EC50 would be 10 to the power of minus three of this agonist. And the more potent the drug is, the smaller is the concentration to get this 50%. Let's compare drug A with drug B. Which drug is more potent? Definitely drug B, because you need a lower concentration to get 50% of the drug's maximal effect. Let's think about the next characteristic a drug can have. It's about efficacy. How is efficacy defined? It's the magnitude of the maximum response of a drug. So efficacy data we get from the same type of graph, because we just want to know what is the maximum effect of the drug. Which drug is more efficacious, drug A or B? They are both similar efficacious because no matter how much concentration you're going to use, the maximum response is 100%. Let me draw in a drug with a lower efficacy. That would look like something like this. Drug C's maximum effect is about 60%. Drug C has here from all of those drugs the lowest efficacy. And by definition, we also know that a partial agonist has always a lower efficacy than a full agonist. This concludes the video on potency and efficacy.